Hello and welcome to my reaction to a video that should be interesting. Um, so this is the VTuber that broke multiple record, uh, at you Mountain by Salome. As you guys know, I reacted to an highlight of a debut and then I did three separate videos reacting to random clip. But, uh, yeah, I would say like, you know, even I having seen quite a bit now of, uh, our awesomeness and our funness, like, uh, the insanity is still like, um, you know, hard to understand. I understand some stuff, but I still feel like, you know, it's hard to believe. Um, so I wanted to see like a video by a good channel that I actually know, uh, Depressing Sagi. I've watched some of their documentary style video before and I think they're pretty good at it. Good research with good info and good way to put, uh, stuff into explanation, you know? So yeah, I figured it would be interesting. Uh, as I'm recording this, uh, you see in the video the next day as I'm recording it, but she just reached like 800,000 on Extreme is GTA 5. Um, I feel like for the last five or six days on Nissan G Reddit, which I go to every day, I keep seeing posts of like, our growth is slowing down, uh, etc, etc. And then, you know, like, yeah, it's not really, it's not. Um, so for me, the few reason, I think, um, Nissan G Diver debuting alone, I mean, that's a, a big thing. Um, what else? Uh, I'd say it's tangible and arguable, but quite a few big name gradation recently, Melissa, um, and, uh, others. And so I feel like, uh, people are maybe like, I have to get into someone new. Now, something I don't understand too much. I love Ojusama. I love BTS Ojusama character, but I never felt like there was too mainstream. I always thought like, there was really like the dislike character in anime. Um, and she really has that vibe. So I don't know if this is like something that really is part of the big appeal and the big interest. Uh, but for me, it is. I'm just surprised that it would be for other people. Um, what else could be? Uh, overall, like, you know, the stuff like the, uh, the stomach, showing the stomach, that's definitely like the very first time. I'd like to say not only VTuber, but the streamer has debuted and done that. Also, her quality, like, uh, even from the first stream, um, when she does mistake and point thing, she's very, like, confident, etc. Um, also, I feel like, you know, um, a lot of recent VTuber, like, um, they might have a character, but quickly they add a tweet to the side or really it's like just a base thing but clearly like she is fully like into that character um not breaking it what else is there um i mean the this one we say it's like a big meme it's easy like for everyone to do it and get into it uh i've done a reaction before i kept doing this one too yeah i feel like top of my head, that would be the thing it's still in my head doesn't like make me understand why she has like such an insane growth um so yeah Let's see what more point this video could bring up once again. I think it could be fun to see uh, if I could get any more stuff uh, through this. So yeah, let us check it out. Link in the description for the original video. Uh, I might do more videos from the Depression Sagi. I've seen the Kizunai video. Most of the info I kind of knew already, but it was still pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, the Kizunai video. And I had seen some other video before, I think. Um, oh yeah, why are people only over to so say? Uh, someone had introduced me to the meme and I was like, yeah, I didn't know about that one. Um, this one, for example, the full story of a uh, manual gradation, like I was there, but you know, like everything was a mess and you know, it's kind of like a, a mess in my head, uh, remembering everything. So yeah, quite a few videos that could be interesting. All right. Or oh, this one too could be interesting. The filler of Nissan Jane, yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Anyway, let's check this one out. So once again, link in the description for the original video, the link to the Depressed Nostalgia's channel, the link to my Twitter, Discord, Twitch, um, BDB, and stream demands if you want to follow me or support me. All right, let's go. So picture this. Your company's official channel reaches 1 million subs on YouTube and you want to celebrate it with the community, right? So as a joke, you decide to carefully plan and launch a single VTuber themed around that one shtick and give her a ridiculously long and joke. As a joke. I feel like they still the narrative as a joke. Uh, I mean, sure, she's extreme, but maybe they were serious all along. Like, I'd like to say maybe they, you know, this god, Tazumi, planned this all along. He knew the success it would be. Nah, there's no way. There's no way. Oh? She suddenly trends on Japanese social media? That's odd. Well, That's they views normally get some traction before fizzling out, so maybe it's just that honeymoon period in effect. Besides, VTubers are so big in Japan, every debut by a major company gets trending these days. Anyway, let's just sell her welcome merch and... Oh? They almost oh. immediately sell out? That's odd. You can well, sell out the voice? To give this girl her time in the sun and... Mm. Oh? 
her debut comes around, shows her literal fucking insides, breaks 100k <laughs> subs in her like, debut comes around, shows. <laughs> yeah, I, I like that. Viewer discussion advice, but it's literally already on screen. I mean, I feel like every day you've seen it anyway. Literal fucking insides, breaks 100k subs in a single day, and trends in Japan again, and she's rising faster than anyone you've ever seen. Oh. Yep. Well, literally. Again, it's that debut honeymoon period. I'm sure. Hmm. What? Nani? Nani? Her gaming streams are reaching 100k viewers, and she just reached 600k subs in five days. That's odd. Uh, it was funny because I saw that video came out um, the day before. You see, two days after it came out, I guess, when I, my reaction. But I saw the video come out late yesterday, and the thumbnail said 600k. Well, I, I went to the channel and she was like 700k. So, yeah. It's like, realistically, there was no way you could post the video with like this part uh, fast enough to make it so it's right at the time you come out, you know what I mean? I think we struck gold here. But boss man, isn't she just supposed to be a joke? That's the narrative, uh, but I don't think so. Uh, that's not exactly what happened. Maybe. But it sure as hell felt like it. Mm. Cue the intro. Yeah, that seems to be the big narrative that she was a joke and people think she's going to say it's a joke and just stop. Yeah, maybe it was, I don't know. But I don't know. I don't think Nisanji would do that. I mean, she's definitely over the top, but a joke, I don't know. Alright. Yeah, yak yak yakuman bala yakuman ten bala yakuman ten bala. Nisanji's been taking massive dubs lately. Loxium was a breakout success far beyond everyone, including the company itself's expectations. But I'll be making an update video about them soon enough. What I'm here to talk about is their other more recent anomaly. One that just fucking exploded out of nowhere, with no warning, no hype, and no build up to it whatsoever. Yeah, true. This is, uh... I used to like, I've said multiple times, like, it's weird that Nissanji are uh, uh, building less and less hype for their debut, uh, but at the same time, you know, the recent debut proved that I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh... Hyakuman, Hyaku Hakuna Matata Salome. This girl suddenly came out of the VTuber void, squeezed the boss of the Japanese fanbase hard, and it seems like she's not letting go anytime soon. She broke all sorts of records, not just in Nijisanji, but in the entirety yeah, of the gaming industry. And her streams and reached Gura. around 100k live viewers every single time. Yep. She will most probably reach 800k or 700k subs by the time I've already uploaded this video. And here's <laughs> when you upload the video, 700k. As I'm recording this video, 800k. As you're seeing it the next day, probably like 850, I'd say. Normally, a VTuber from Nijisanji or Hololive would get a massive surge of subscribers and viewers after their initial announcement, but eventually, their growth plateaus after the honeymoon period. Yeah, this is what I've read about Chloe. I didn't really pay attention to her sub after her debut, but yeah. It was like her debut, you know, insane amount of view. Uh, and like uh, subs, and then she just really like slowed down from what I've read, like extremely but in this case, to this day. That plateau is taking longer than normal. Honey Badger Capybara Salome did not see any significant <laughs> slowdown in growth even after reaching the record breaking milestones that she reached. In fact, her growth only intensified. Yeah, it's just insane. Like, subscriber, I would understand, but the life you are growing, uh, and like growing up for like. Regular, I mean, they're not really regular against you, but regular against you, you know? Ow. I feel like that's never been the same. Never been done. This absolute insanity, in theory, should have been near fucking impossible. And also, like, the other thing, I mean, I know I'm posing a lot, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, can you imagine? Like, there's no way she, she and Nissanji would have expected this. Uh, like, maybe the debut having a ton of your show, but then, like, non-stop, like, she can't relax, like, over 100,000 viewers every single stream when you just debuted. Whether she had like any experience before as a streamer or anything like that, it's like, can you can you imagine? Like, I have 10 people on my stream most of the time, and sometimes I've done stream with 200 people, like my Sigi Idol stream, and um, just from like that much of an increase, the feeling is like, of like having so many people watching you is like, it's hard not to feel tense. Can you even imagine? Like, right away, she's non stop growing without ever a time to like, be in front of a few fewer people to like get comfortable insane there was no build up whatsoever her announcement came on the 21st of may and it appeared like this was just another one of nijisanji's shotgun launches she felt like she was just a joke a lot of fans including myself originally thought that this girl was just nijisanji's commemorative or celebratory musings for reaching 1 million subscribers that she was I mean, just once again i didn't see that myself like, I didn't think they would debut a VTuber as a joke and then just like after a week, uh, shelf it, 
I really didn't sing that. But sometimes I can see why people might sing that, but yeah. A one-off gag to celebrate the milestone. Nothing more, nothing less. And now, all of us, especially those trying to analyze and study the industry, are left mm. scratching our heads wondering how the fuck this happened. There wasn't yeah. a demand for a VTuber like Salome. At least, not explicitly. There yeah, wasn't any right. external factors that contributed to her sudden rise in popularity. Like how Luxium filled a market gap in the female dominated yeah, and saturated VTuber community, or like how Myth satisfied the growing overseas demand for VTubers in English speaking countries back in 2020. There was fucking none of that. This girl just came out of nowhere, yeah. said Yasuwa, and took over the VTuber industry. And I think that's fucking hilarious and this amazing. One. The cult of this also one. Mind boggling makes one rethink how one can actually become an extremely successful VTuber without relying on market-specific external yeah. factors. People were blindsided by this woman and were still feeling the effects of the shock. So to answer the question how hyphen Mandala Salome took over the industry, I have but one answer for you. What? Nobody knows for sure. Again, we were <laughs> That's what I thought, like, I went into this video to thinking like maybe it's gonna have like a, l a bunch of interesting points that I didn't think of, but now four minutes in I think, yeah, it might just be at the same point as me of like, who the fucking was? By this woman, yeah. the factors that contributed to her growth are something that... Even if she lists me all the obvious facts, as I've listed at the beginning that I could think of, it's still like... Un 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 um, hard to understand, yeah. However, we can extrapolate. Highlighter Mascara Salome's popularity was initially self-contained in the Japanese VTuber fanbase. Only very yeah. few people in the English fanbase actually knew about this girl until her massive growth started breaking out of But, a ton of clippers started doing her, like uh, Japanese clipper to English with Adon. I mean, I said this for a while, um, but you know, GP uh, translation, I've been really like slowing down for the last six months, starting at the end of last year. Uh, there's really like so much less than there used to be. Like Nissan G compilation stopped and a lot of stuff like that. And now, like, I feel like, um, not only channel that were kind of dead or doing other labor, uh, are starting to do like, uh, you know, some tattoo again. Like, I see so many channels doing Salome, it's like, yeah, it's a big boom. So, I guess for the English, uh, you know, speaking uh, audience, well, we have a ton of clip. I mean, like, she's getting as clipped as a uh, Pekoa if she did the stream, you know, which is like not, still not everything because, you know, it's like a lot to clip a full stream, but. Yeah, and so interestingly then. It seemed like she got the Japanese fan base entranced in all the right ways. And I feel like that was especially evident in her debut. This is actually one of the most batshit insane debuts I've ever seen. It is the craziest I've seen. Her own residence certificate and her yeah. fucking insides. Yeah. This is that meme of no one. Absolutely no one fucking shows her own gastroscopy image. Exactly. This would later trend in Japan and the shock factor may have drawn those curious enough to look at her. However, the Ojo-sama archetype is not exactly the most sought-after kind of VTuber archetype or kayfabe in the That's industry what I because the Ojo-sama archetype is a bit uncommon but not exactly unique. They appeal to a specific kind of people, but Haiku Sayonara plays up that character really well, which is why her character might have actually added to the charm, especially with her ending phrase. However, the real reason why this works is because she's not really an Ojo-sama, she's a fucking shut-in basement dwelling neat pretending to be an Ojo-sama. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Kayfabe pretty much makes excuses and even increases that's true. the effectiveness of her weirdness and... I see, yeah, the person is like he's a forcing fan with the Kayfabe reference. Uh, which I tell you, is pretty fucking genius since she's basically double role-playing. Kappa with yeah, the fact that she's bouncing that. off the chat really well, and that she joined one of the biggest agencies in the industry, then it wouldn't be surprising why Hinduism Samsara Salome would be extremely successful. It's but still surprising aren't enough to, to this extent. That much of a fucking anomaly, right? Well, let's look at the external factors. As I've mentioned initially, Niji Sanji has been taking massive dubs in the industry this year, especially in the EN side of things. A few people say that it might be that reason, however, I'm actually going to disagree with that because the JP and EN fanbase don't quite overlap as much as you guys think. Considering that at yeah. least half of Nijisanji EN's fanbase are women, since the boys takes up the spotlight most of the time and the fact that a significant portion of that are Chinese, I doubt that most of that demographic would be interested. Vox switching 1 million subs on, uh, on BB like so fast with only one stream there. Yeah in a yeah. Japanese female VTuber. And again, Holy Man Tiara Salome blew up in Japan specifically, so the rise of Nijisanji EN I think had little or nothing to do with yeah, it. Yeah, I don't think this the this fact that the now. announcement and debut seemed like a joke certainly did. See, Nijisanji's official channel just reached 1 million subs exactly one month before the girl's debut, and based on the girl's name, 
which means 1 million something Salome, and you get fans speculating that she was just an extremely late April Fool's joke. Perhaps okay, I guess so. That's why people say she was a joke because of the name. Okay, yeah. And once again, just in my head, I just thought, you know, they wouldn't just dip it ever as a joke when I saw people saying that. But okay, I guess with the name. I feel that's what it meant, yeah. Of her shtick and her unique personality. Word of mouth spread like wildfire, especially with the tags related to her trending in Japan. It's like, it's the snowball effect now. Obviously, like, you know, people talk so much about the popularity and the milestone, then more people hear about it, get into it, etc. Talked about my six day and like this normal effects keep going. I mean, we'll see once she starts selling them because obviously, you know, eventually she will, but we'll see when. Like, people have been saying she will slow down at 200,000, 200,000, etc. Et yeah, media. However, it's becoming even harder to believe that this was just a joke from the very beginning. It seems like Niji Sanji wanted this woman, believed in her. Because why else would Niji Sanji go through the expensive hassle of launching a VTuber with the 1 million stick? Why now? Exactly one month after the official. I don't know how expensive it is to launch a VTuber for Ning Sanji. Like, it's not like they do that much, right? It's 1 million subs. And why only launch one VTuber? As time passes on, I'm starting to think that this wasn't a joke by Niji Sanji. This was a clearly executed experiment to see how much slowing down their debut rates, how launching a VTuber with a unique gimmick solo, and what unique angles they can take to introduce. I mean, you think since they've been doing like debut of wave of multiple Ava for years, They've always must be have been preparing for that idea of like launching one alone to see how much hype a one a single debut would get. I'm sure they must have built up that for that idea for like a while, you know. So I'm sure it's not like a random thing just for one million. One million, it just made sense. Seeing their VTubers can work well. I think the fact that she debuted alone also gives her that exclusivity and extreme yeah. focus. While fans of a VTuber wave may be stretched out among three or five members, the fact that Salome debuted alone concentrates a lot of what would normally be a stretched out fan base into one mega fan base. Or maybe I'm just overthinking and that Hijisanji also did not know what the fuck they were doing but accidentally tripped on gold. Again, I think it's a mix once again. I think they probably thought, yeah, that she might get a great boost from being like a solo debut, but once again, there's no way they predict this much uh obviously come on like obviously since she's breaking like a new ground and you record all that to such an extent they couldn't have you know like realistically predicted that or In wanted end, that everyone is just blindsided by this sudden growth the girl came out of nowhere dropped this a nuclear well. bomb on the japanese nijisanji community and now the fallout is coming for everyone else i'm excited what her success means for both nijisanji Hololive and other VTubing companies because I feel like there are lessons to be had in this rather explosive rise that we as mere fans of the industry can't see yet. Or again, maybe Niji Sanji is also just scratching their heads wondering how the fuck this happened. However, for now, yeah, Hentai possible. Nekopara Salome has become the rising star of the community. And from the many VTubers of old passing the, the prom, queen of VTubers, huh? Interesting. So this is by the person saying, so this is your ranking, yeah? Doesn't that make sense? Mito, I guess Mito was probably like more popular than Sora at that time, so actually fair enough, yeah, think about it, Mito was even like in an anime, anime in 2019, so yeah, Coco, I mean, obviously, Kula, I'd say obviously, yeah, top of my head actually, you know, this is, you know, a pretty fair assessment, yeah, I mean, we'll see if Salome stays, once again, it's like the staying power, right now it seems insane that she would fall, but you never know. We'll see how long she lasts. Um, yeah, I guess one thing that's common with all of the other people is that, well, they didn't have like as crazy of a initial popularity as her, but they always do something to not just reinvent themselves, but like do something new and keep pushing and do some interesting stuff. I think Coco uh, would be the closest to Salome right now, I would say. Yeah, Coco feels like the slowest to her, but we'll see how Salamis uh, leaves up to Coco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, From that's the best way I can put it. It's rapidly becoming the current queen of the VTuber industry. And remember, this may change. It's only been like a week and a half. Who knows when something like this will happen again? Even I admit that it's probably too early to tell what's going to happen to Salome, but that doesn't make this massive achievement any lesser. The VTuber industry is extremely volatile, and anything can happen for seemingly no reason. 
I could even be missing a few other factors. In any case, Definitely. I think the fact that this girl got some traction due to the jokish nature surrounding her launch, her impressive dedication to her entertaining character, and the absolute insanity of her debut caused Salome to become as massive as she is. Somehow, Hyakuman Tenbara Salome taps into the older and veteran Japanese fans and reminds them of the golden age of VTubers. This girl absolutely encapsulates Nijisanji as a whole. Yeah. In any case, this is an epic W for Nijisanji and an even yeah. massive W for the VTubing industry. Yep, definitely. And you know, I was going to say something else Everyone, that I was thinking about. The video. I'd like to remind you all to not turn the comment section into the virtual YouTuber 4chan board and tribal fag all of right. I guess just the outro. I skipped that. I skipped that. I was about to say, like, uh, another thing that's uh, rather, um, you know, interesting is that even, like, for, like, you know, people that just wants to join to uh, continue building up the hype, they would just subscribe. What's interesting is, once again, the fact that she keep growing in terms of live viewer. You'd think that, uh, I guess, that just, I'd like to say, goes to show that, yeah, um, opportunity and ability to keep an audience is that good. Um, you know, it's not just she got lucky and uh, and people are just going to leave it because they don't care. At least I'm saying that maybe too early. But it seems like, yeah, that's what I would say. The fact that she keep growing uh, live viewers probably because, yeah, I guess she's that good at keeping an audience. I haven't watched uh, any of her live yet. I've actually purposefully avoided it so I can react to clip. Uh, but maybe I will. I mean, it's already been like a week. Uh, she's gonna have a first GTA stream today as I'm recording this. So yesterday when you're watching this reaction, maybe I'll watch it. Like see her do like a full live and like how she handled everything. Uh not just like a short clip of a funny moment. Yeah. See like how much she, she keep the entertainment factor up, you know. Okay, okay. Well, uh definitely like less answer than I hope hope for, but at the same time I guess it makes sense. Like why would you have the answer? Uh no one does. <laughs> yeah, no one does really. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. It'll be interesting once again, seeing like um, everything, how she evolves, um, when does she start slowing down, um, once she slows down, you know, how much of that live viewership can she retain, and everything else, really, yeah. Um, yeah, that's really uh, the best way to put it. This was really interesting, really interesting. Great video. So yeah, look forward to my reaction to some more Salome clip. I just thought it was, this would be interesting to do. Uh, since once again, I kept thinking about it and talking to people about it and saying that what I understand some of the reason, I'm still like, you know, not really like, uh, like most people, I guess, I still don't get it fully how she could be so popular, but she seems so out there. Um, yeah, I definitely have more points I could make, but I already forgot. During the video, I was like, I'll keep it for the end. I forgot. Anyway, that was fun. This video, this reaction came, uh, came out way longer than I expected, but it was fun to talk about. Alright, anyway, so yeah, Salome clip, reaction incoming, maybe I'll do like even a reaction stream, we'll see. Uh, so yeah, link in the description for the original video, the link to the Depressed Musagis channel. Uh, tell me if you guys want me to see, uh, uh, want me to do more of this channel, there's quite a few interesting videos. Um, yeah, 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 alright, as always, my Twitter, Discord, Twitch, Believe Me, and Streamer, Stream Elements, if you want to follow me or support me. As always, thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and see you guys next time.